it's 17.28 and it's the 14th of September and it's 2023 and I'm uploading for the interest of those that live alone and that might be experiencing anything similar to the circumstances of wrongdoing and the issues surrounded around mental health of frauds that are of disharmonious and destructive and disrespectful behaviour in society that have a difficulty holding their tongues and biting their lips when being um, lippy with other people's privacy. So we all know the dangers about privacy being offended. We also know the dangers of defamation or false reporting a good name. And we also know the dangers of uh, stealing from a mother. So I am absolutely bewildered how people think they have a right of way putting themselves on the line and thinking they're going to pray their way out of trouble when they're guilty of blasphemy and sacrilege and cause more offence where their dues and their debts are not being met. So as I'm experiencing what I'm experiencing and there are individuals deluding themselves with regard to the reality of what uh, the origins of COVID and Brexit have been, um, I find it very offensive to mental health. As a, as a mental health pr practitioner and educator, I find it very offensive to the fellowship and its principles and its traditions. I find it also offensive to the laws and etiquette of privacy. And dear goodness, those people that have associated my lovely ancestral marital farms with fraud and that have offended my family, I don't know if their rationale is working for them at all, at all. So it's not sensible, it's not logical, it's not within the law. And people that are stepping over the line and land territory of mine, I have a huge concern for your safety, offending uh, my child since January 2017 and offending the law and the Roman Catholic Church of my royal ancestors. So this issue is ongoing. Um, those that have uh, worked with fallacies and fairy tales, as I've said, are highlighting their failings as adults. And that's disappointing. So um, those with um, discrepancies and disrespect uh, displayed uh, for the past 20 years in County Kerry um, might be the people that actually need the mental health assistance and it might be on the best uh, practical approach of uh, recovery that the mental health practitioners actually work with the cases that are developing or signifying the symptoms that are uh, in require of attention besides the effort of circumstances in my uh, matters that are offensive to COVID-19 protocol and uh, the social reforms of the six to seven agencies up in Dublin that have been impacted by my uh, humanitarianism um, that I'm still awaiting for the relevant ministers to uh, reward financially uh, instead of causing impoverishment with uh, damages to my bodily integrity as a mother uh, in a democracy. So um, it's highlighting, I suppose, as I've mentioned, poor leadership, poor management in um, monetary skills and poor etiquette as well. So unfortunately, I hope uh, that uh, there are sensible, intelligent, wise people out there that are on the right side of the law and that are brave and courageous enough to uphold the, the, the dignity of the democracy and the democratic values that keep families safe and secure besides the authoritarians and their families being put at risk with uh, awful uh, circumstances that I'm tolerating being supported by frauds and thieves um, that were addressed in the initiative of 2017-2019 where everyone benefited from health and wealth recovery which is also subject to academic fraud. So the sad sign of the times. Um, I'm still awaiting for the relevant bodies to do the right thing um, but unfortunately it, 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 there, there seems to be a mind block 
or an obstinance or just a lack of learning there's no lesson lesson being learned so it's quite serious so my humanitarianism has prospered people's lives and now that's all at risk so it's a sad sign of the times that people aren't uh using the the sensible intelligent uh polite approach um, and it's it's very serious that there are uh, royal titles also being offended in a democracy so um, as I've said as long as my son is illegally from my care and as long as this goes on without the reparations that I'm due um, then unfortunately I, 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 I'd, be, I'd be astonished um, how it could be rewarded to support crime against an innocent mother and child. I'm just astonished. So those that are already guilty of blasphemy might be careful about their prayers before, uh, you know, um, attempting any more crimes um, against my good name or offences against my good name. Um, it, it's quite it's quite serious what's happened in the southwest of Ireland um, with uh, witchcraft. Uh, against the Roman Catholic Church values and the Vatican. So I hope everyone is aware how uh, careful and sensible um, is required um, as qualities in good leadership these days. It's very dangerous what's happened. Um, and unfortunately, there are liabilities that are still making in this situation more dangerous with bad decision making processes. So um, in the best interest of those that are avaricious or ambitious with uh, anything of my patronage or property um they might first address their, their their discrepancies in their conduct and their dirty debts as well so um the damages um have been quite dangerous to my child and i and uh that's not supported by faith and it's not supported by law so um it's a sad sign of the times and um those fathers out there the husbands and the 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 gentlemen in society i hope you know um, like how much of a big responsibility it is that you have to show that your girls are going to be prepared for a safe, secure society from situations that I'm unduly experiencing. Being a father is one of the biggest jobs in the world and being a husband or a, 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 being a man is a huge uh, responsibility. Um, the, the issues around uh, this matter are not setting a good example to young girls. So I would really sincerely advise and hope um, that gentlemen of the world <laughs> are aware how it is to prioritize women and children's rights. We give birth to life. In these circumstances, my humanitarianism has saved people's lives and prospered people's lives. So it's really not safe to be rude, disrespectful, or in any case, in any circumstance. So um, those that are showing a lack of regard and that think they're um, safe offending my nuptials and my family since 2017, or think that there is a misogynistic uh, dominance um, when some people have received a new, new lease of life. This is the, 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 the unfathomable. Some people have uh, misunderstood how fortunate they are to be alive as a consequence of uh, my uh, humanitarianism as well. I'll address it as. But uh, some people are very fortunate to have a new lease of life. So that's all at risk when people think they're going to get away or on the way uh, with offending where they're feeding from the table of where they haven't paid for their dinner or dish. It's a sad sign of the times that this logic isn't present. So I hope I'm making myself explicitly clear how dangerous it is for families and particularly young girls. The little girls of the world are seeing a very serious, murky situation that disrespects their well-being and their safety uh, with crimes against faith and the, the legal system. So those that are intruding on other people's property and privacy might be careful to mind their own uh, nose <laughs> and protocol, royal protocol, and uh, obey the laws, you know. Um, but those that are brave and courageous enough uh, that know the Declaration and the Constitution and the legislation that's come from me, be it subject to fraud or otherwise, I hope everyone's having a, a serious uh, reflection and meditation of how hate crime and 
all the blasphemy that's occurred and all the debt evasion and all that that that's happened i hope the little girls of the world are aware that their dads have a big responsibility to make sure that society is safe and those that don't then that's just irresponsible you know um so the authorities in Tralee are aware that my son is still a missing person and until he's located that's a punishable crime so those mental health frauds that have been assaulting my character with defamation and my privacy um i i have a question about your credentials and i have a question about the authenticity of your remarks and i also have a question or two about your source of information so the matter surrounding mental health and marriage matrimony does not entitle anyone to sign someone up or sign someone out or sign someone away and any matrimony that has prospered or protected people's well-being i hope everyone's really careful about how things are uh, some people delude themselves and tell themselves they're in a position with misogyny or dominance but unfortunately uh, the scales don't weigh up that way and um, unfortunately there's a very serious issue being caused around the family unit um, of uh, my circumstances since the abduction of my child in January 2017 that I am arduously attempting to locate due to the exposure he's had to harmful adults so those that are playing my child as a pawn, uh, like as an, a, a game of chess, that's a very dangerous situation. Those people that are manipulating a situation with an innocent child uh, to get the upper hand, that's the lowest, lowest denominator um, applied to any circumstances. Uh, this is a democracy. So those people that are using my son um, in a family unit to acquire or thinking that they're dumb that's that's disgusting only the lowest of the low ever resort to that kind of a tactic so those people that are offending the values of family uh respect dignity honorability those that are evading and exacerbating their dues and their debts and ignoring royal protocol those people that are putting little girls futures at risk and that are guilty of blasphemy or sacrilege against the church um, all of these crimes or offences, however one wants the transgressions, however one wants to treat the issue, are all still poisonous aspects in the society. And there are people speaking out of place about people's families where they have no position to be speaking. And quite dangerously, their debt for defamation since 2006 is still not addressed or resolved or repaired. So these people aren't understanding this matter. So now... Um, all my crime prevention is at risk again because of people not treating their mental illness and that are suffering from the antisocial behaviour condition. It's a sad sign of the times. So I hope the authorities are on the right side of the law. Uh, we've seen what has happened since 2006 up to 2017 when I've had to tolerate uh, these people in society offending the law. So um, my son is a missing person. He's eight in one month and i'd appreciate uh, the authorities doing the right thing um any child being manipulated or uh offended uh from proper lawful care of the sole provider since birth is a criminal offense it's not rewarded and it's not excused and it is punishable by law so anyone that knows anything um hopefully is thinking sensibly intelligently and wisely with regard to who owns what and who doesn't have any entitlement at all at all. So this is for the interest as well for the Ombudsman of Children and it's also for the interest of UNICEF and any displacement disposability concepts without the debts I'm owed being paid and the offences to Royal Protocol being corrected. Um, I can't say enough about how dangerous the situation is for women and children in particularly the women and children of society are always prioritised and speaking out of place about a person, a private citizen and defaming good name is also quite dangerous. So especially with what uh, humanitarianism has been um, provided or contributed. So I hope everyone's aware of the reality and I hope there's no one uh, fooling themselves with nonsense and silliness about a situation that's quite serious.